goes to the uh, center post. I like to bend it like a little, like a little L. Bend it over, and then bend it back straight up, and then clip the long end off. That way, when I solder it to my center connector, it'll be on there nice and tight. Oh, and by the way. When you uh, go to solder to this uh, atomizer connector, you want to take an old atomizer and screw it in. Because if you transfer too much heat to the center of this atomizer connector, you will burn out the, uh, burn out the rubber grommet. When you're pushing on it with the solder iron and it's getting hot, when you're pushing down into there, you don't want to heat it up too much. Take your solder, put a little bit of extra, put a little bit of solder right on that center post. Put a little bit of solder on your red wire here. Also, one more thing. Get your heat shrink. Stick it over that red wire. Once you solder this red wire onto the center post, you're going to take your heat shrink and you're going to push it back on there so it's covering up the center post where you just soldered. See how I put the heat shrink on there right there? Boom, there it's connected. Now I take my heat shrink and I shove it up into there, making sure to connect, making sure you can't short it out later. Bend it right down in the middle where you're going to want it. It's going to want to be right about there. Take your negative connection that goes to anywhere on the outside of the atomizer, like I said. I like to use these little ridges just because it's hard to solder to this brass atomizer connector. These little ridges end up transferring the heat better, so that's where I solder it to. Can everybody see that? Good. This is probably the hardest solder connection you'll make is soldering your negative wire to the outside of the atomizer connector. It's not that hard, but it's not that easy. Doesn't have to be pretty. The whole thing's going to be covered in JB Weld in a second here. Just has to be connected. There, and that is connected.
Okay. Now, by now. By now, the uh, JB Weld is hardened up. So it's not going to let that circuit board pop out of here when you stick two batteries in. So now it's time to test it. Take an end cap. Make sure you know it's on. I know this one's on. Take a couple batteries. Let's let that cool for a minute. It's nice and hot. This uh, atomizer, this old worn out atomizer is hot as hell. So I'm going to pause it for a minute. Alright, I'm back. It's actually the next day. And uh, I went ahead and uh, put on my atomizer. Everything worked great. Um, then I ended up uh, actually uh, pushing uh, the wrong button and I wasn't recording. I started to show you how I put this JB Weld uh, the top on here to finish it off. But basically, uh, now that it's done, I put more JB Weld and I kind of cone the whole thing up, kind of make a weird shape. And uh, this is what I got when I was done. Uh, we got the red light on with the end cap and the blinking green light when the uh, atomizer is powered. There you have it. Um, this is uh, this is the final product. Uh, it's still got a few fingerprints. I can't make these cones perfect. I never have been able to. Uh, it looks a little bit better when it's done drying. It's not. It's still not completely dry right now. Um, here it is compared to my uh, the red one I was using a minute ago. Everyone comes out slightly different from the last. I love that blinking green light. Um, you just you just mix this uh, stuff together, and once you once you have all your guts in there, and your your uh, connector soldered on the top, you just kind of add a little bit of JB Weld at a time and mold it all the way around there. Right here, um, this solder lump is my uh, permanent ground connection that's connected to the body, and uh, basically this is Mad Dog's Magnum um, updated to use CR one twenty three A's and. Uh, I didn't get to show you the uh, the JB Weld part, but you can figure that out on your own. It's kind of hard to do it and, and hold the camera at the same time, so that's uh, that's the difference there. Special shout out goes out to Mad Dog for showing me how to build the Magnum in the first place, and Shrek from ECF for showing me. Uh, the, you know where to get the regulator um, who else who else well everybody on uh, everybody on the vapors forum uh, that was cool to me not that many of you a lot of you didn't like my uh, my JB Will top but uh, everybody on new vapor uh, you can see me on new vapor uh, late at night sometimes on video chat answer your questions if you build one of these or if you just want to get in contact with me and say hi I'm uh, there once in a while you can leave me a message here or you can leave me a message on uh, the new vapor forum um, I like everybody on on vapors forum also spiky all those people dumb Waldo people I've never seen before um, right now, what juices do I like? I really like this pineapple from uh, this pineapple juice from Joe at iVape. It's great stuff. Uh, Drew at Inhaler got me hooked on that RY4 high voltage. Uh, that's also great stuff. His Cherry Bomb. Um, if I didn't mention you, I still love you anyway. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who have always been kind to me and, and helped me out and showed me the way in building these mods and uh, that's why I'm trying